Hey, have you heard of something called thyroid? Hmm, some would have and some might not. Well, it's a gland right at the bottom of your neck. Let's have an insight. Can you figure out what it looks like? It resembles a butterfly. Of course, God has made everything beautiful. Thyroid means shield in Latin. Thyroid gland resembles the shape of an ancient Greek shield. Hence, Thomas Wharton named it the thyroid gland. Furthermore, thyroxin was the first hormone synthesized artificially. Isn't it impressive? And glands are the secretory organs of our body. They are of two types, exocrine and endocrine glands. Exocrine glands secrete enzymes into their own ducts, while endocrine glands secrete hormones into the bloodstream. So where does thyroid fit in? Well, it's an endocrine gland and liver is an exocrine gland. Thyroid gland releases three hormones. T3 or triiodothyronine is the active thyroid hormone. T4 or tetraiodothyronine, commonly known as thyroxine, is the inactive thyroid hormone. <laughs> as sleepy as always. And calcitonin, which unlike T3 and T4, is considered as a pituitary hormone because of its structure and function. Thyroid hormones are necessary for the normal functioning of our body. It influences and maintains growth and development. Means, it makes you grow taller, faster and stronger. Nerve signaling, blood formation, functions of the gut, all the relief. Reproduction, heart rate and blood circulation, body temperature, metabolism of carbohydrate, fat and proteins. Good news for those who want to lose those extra pounds. As with all organs of the body, the brain is in control of the thyroid gland. The amount of T3 and T4 in the body is well balanced. But how does the brain maintain the balance of thyroid hormones in the body? First and foremost, it detects the concentration of thyroid hormones in the blood. If the concentration of T3 and T4 in the blood is inadequate, a portion of the brain called hypothalamus is activated. It releases thyrotropin releasing hormone or TRH. The TRH triggers the pituitary gland consequently releasing the thyroid stimulating hormone or the TSH, eventually stimulating the thyroid gland. Inside the thyroid gland, in the presence of TSH, iodide from diet combines with tyrosine, an amino acid, to produce T4 and T3. These thyroid hormones are then released into the bloodstream. The rate of production of T4 is 14 times higher than that of T3. Designated proteins bind and transport T3 and T4 into the target organ through the bloodstream. From the bloodstream, thyroid hormones are released into the target site. T3 acts immediately. But the idle T4 must be converted to T3 to be useful. Here is an illustration on how the thyroid hormones are transferred into the target organs. Target sites can be a cell, a tissue or an organ in your body. In fact, the thyroid hormones act everywhere. Now if the concentration of T3 and T4 in the blood is adequate, The brain inhibits the production of TRH and TSH, eventually switching off the thyroid gland. That's how the brain balances the level of thyroid hormones in our body. How balanced are your thyroid levels? Let's have an insight. The normal range of TSH is between 0.4 to 4 micro international units per liter. T4 must range between 60 to 145 millimole per deciliter and T3 should range between 75 to 195 nanogram per deciliter. To 
conclude thyroid gland plays a significant role in our normal body function hence any imbalance in the level of thyroid hormones can lead to various disorders if your thyroid levels are not in the normal range please consult your physician thanks for watching if you enjoyed our video please hit the like button share it with your family and friends and subscribe for more don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will not miss anything on impulse and insight stay tuned